Hi guys, and welcome to the family fudge. Hang on. Okay, take two on that. We're stopped at the gas station right now before we head to Costco, because if we don't, we will run out of gas for sure. So, like I said, we're headed to Costco today, so come along with us. Okay guys, we've got our gas and we are headed to the store, but since it's not a short drive, I thought I would answer some frequently asked questions. The first one being, I thought you guys were homeschoolers. I get this question quite a lot because of my lunch making videos. And yes, we are still homeschoolers, but we have an interesting schedule because we also belong to a charter school, we have co-op, and we have other classes outside of the house. So. I would say 90% of their schoolwork is done at home, and then we have time to do other activities. So that's why we still pack lunches, because we take them with us where we're going. What's another frequently asked question? Why do I sound the way I sound? Well, number one, I would say because I'm not always super confident when I'm making these videos, and sometimes to get over being nervous, I just put on a smile and go with it. And I think number two is whenever you're on YouTube, it's kind of awkward when you're first getting started. So you just kind of have to learn as you go. And number three, most of my videos are not heavy and like dramatic. I try to keep them light and happy because that's what I would prefer to watch myself. I'm not gonna watch somebody who's angrily going to the grocery store. You know, this doesn't make sense. So spread the positivity where you can because there's obviously enough negativity in the world. Am I right? I think another frequently asked question is whatever happened to such and such video? There are certain videos that I used to make all the time that I don't make so often anymore. And that just basically comes down to the numbers. I have a lot of ideas for videos and not the time to actually make all those videos. So when a video doesn't get a lot of views or a lot of thumbs ups or it gets a lot of negative comments, then I stop making those videos because I don't wanna waste my time making stuff that you guys don't wanna watch. So if you like the videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up, make sure you leave a comment to let me know if I should still make those videos or not. And <laughs> he says make sure to share the video so that your friends can see it too. That's a good idea. Another question we get a lot is, how old are the kids? So Mackenzie just turned eight, Jackson just turned six, I had to think about that one. Lily is four and Griffin will be two. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. He's gonna be two in July. Okay guys, I've had a lot of questions about what happened to the sock of the day. I used to always show my fun socks before we headed out to go to Costco. And then summer happened and I stopped wearing socks and then I kind of forgot about it. So I thought I would show you the socks today. I have eggs and bacon and toast. Aren't those cute? And now I'm gonna go ahead and take my feet off the dashboard because apparently that's very dangerous if you get in an accident, which we're not gonna do right. No accidents today. So we made it to Costco, I have my list, but since I was writing while we were driving, I feel completely sick to my stomach now. And it's not good. But let's go shopping anyway. Jackson! <laughs> are you ready to tell us the rules? Yeah. What are they? No screaming, no crying, no running away, no stealing stuff, no falling over, no being weird. <laughs> I'll have you guys know that they added the no being weird part themselves. That's not something that I asked them to do, although it's probably a good idea. I'm not quite sure what the deal is because it's like four o'clock in the afternoon and there's nobody here. That is strange. Check this out you guys. These baskets that I purchased a couple weeks ago are now on clearance. Only $15.99. They, they actually work out really well in my kitchen. I really like them. And this is why we have our rules because this is how it goes in the store. They actually do run around and cry and scream. So we ended up going just to Costco and to Walmart, and I didn't find everything on my list, so I'll probably take a quick trip to Trader Joe's in a few days. And I had a request to share the total cost of everything because I've been forgetting to tell you guys. So at Costco, we ended up spending about $250, and then at Walmart, that came to about $150. So it's expensive, 
and that's that's California for you. So I'll go ahead and show you the things from Costco first and then I'll move my way this way. You'll notice we didn't get a lot of non-food items this time. It's mostly food because I have a lot of recipes I'm hoping to share with you guys for Super Bowl and for Valentine's Day. And of course, I also needed some things for school lunches and things like that. So I'll go ahead and start back here with a big thing of toilet paper. We also got another thing of almond milk and my new purchase, the kombucha. This is my favorite kind, my favorite flavor, and it was only about $1.75 a bottle, which is half price if I was to buy this at the grocery store. And if you're not sure about kombucha, it's basically a fermented tea drink. It has lots of good probiotics in there. Some people say it's an acquired taste, but I really like it. We also got some cottage cheese, some better than bouillon chicken base. This makes really good soup. And then my favorite salad dressing. They haven't had this in a long time, and it is so good. This is the Japanese miso dressing. Yum, yum. We also got two big things of eggs. Last time we ended up getting the big thing of five dozen, but they didn't have any today. So we go through a lot of eggs here. Some strawberries. Some ground turkey. There's actually three pounds in here. Some Havarti cheese. And our favorite, Kerrygold butter. My husband picked out some steaks. I'm not a huge fan of steak, but he is, so that'll be enough for him for several days. We'll probably put some of these in the freezer as well. For lunches, we picked up the chicken breast, the ham, and the roast beef trio. I think this is about $10 for all three, so that's a pretty good deal. Although I've never tried these before, so hopefully they're good. We also got some uncured turkey bacon, that's my favorite and some irregular bacon, that's what my husband prefers. We also got some baby spinach, and then these guys. We sampled these while we were in the store and they are so good. And they're actually gluten-free, which is kind of hard to find in a meatball. And even though they say jalapeno, they're really not that spicy. Even Jackson loved them. We also got some of these Sugar House Maple Chicken Sausages. These are actually fully cooked. It's really easy to just heat these up in the morning. We also got three big cucumbers and some ketchup and this coconut cashew butter granola, which was actually marked down to just about five, just under six dollars. So that's a pretty good deal. We love this stuff. It is so good. Over here, I picked up some juice boxes for lunches. We haven't had this in a while, but the kids love it. And I like that it's 100% juice. It's not full of water and high fructose corn syrup and all that kind of stuff. And I also picked up some more of these sparkling um, waters for me. These are the naturally flavored ones. And I had some questions last time when I picked these up if these have aspartame in them, and they don't, so that's good. And I also picked up two gallons of milk. Now I think that's everything from Costco. I'll go ahead and show you what I got from Walmart. From Walmart, I picked up one red onion, one yellow, two green peppers, one red and one yellow pepper, a poblano pepper, which I used for the first time in last week's video and it's actually really tasty, not too spicy at all. This is really good. I also got some green onions, some celery, and five limes. Unfortunately, our lime tree is like done for this season, so I had to pick up these little dinky guys, but I'm gonna be sharing some yummy drink recipes with you guys and I needed some fresh lime juice. Moving over here, I picked up a package of the all-natural uncured pepperoni. Normally, I like to get the turkey pepperoni because it's not as greasy, but they didn't have any, so I picked this up this time. And then I also got three bags of these fully cooked meatballs. These are great on a um, busy night when you need to make dinner, and I'm definitely going to be sharing these in an upcoming recipe video as well. So we have the all-beef ones, the Italian style, and the home style. So I also picked up some grapes. Normally I would buy the grapes by the pound, but they were not looking very good, and I just needed a couple for lunches, so I got this little container. I also got some cherry tomatoes and some cream cheese. Back over here, I got a big thing of kiwis. We haven't had kiwis in a while, and these are actually really economical. They're not very expensive. Definitely the strawberries and the grapes were more expensive this time than the kiwis. And kiwis have a ton of vitamin C. They're actually really good for you. I picked up Lily's Request, which are the Go-Gurts. I like to get the Go-Gurts simple. There's less sugar in there. 
And then, speaking of sugar, I did pick up these chocolate brownie bear-shaped biscuits. I saw my friend Fallon pick these up the other day in her haul, and I know my kids like stuff like this, so it'll be a fun treat. And then I have several boxes of cereal. First, I have the Frosted Mixed Berry Shredded Wheat. We've never tried this before, but it looks really fun in pink for Valentine's Day. I got some Crispix. This is for a recipe as well, and the Cocoa Krispies. I'm gonna be making a treat with those. I also got a bottle of, whoops, I got a bottle of Sprite for one of my mocktails that I'm going to be making. It's gonna be so good, I can't wait to show you guys. Over here I picked up a big bag of these organic apples, and these are actually the Ambrosia, so they're nice and sweet, and I like that they're very small, perfect for the kids. Over here I picked up one loaf of wheat bread and one package of these pita flatbreads. We love to make pizzas out of these. I also got some whipped cream, that's for a recipe. And for Valentine's Day morning, I'm gonna be making these hot cocoa rolls and I'm gonna shape them into a heart and add some heart sprinkles, it's gonna be so cute. Over here I have a new sparkly pair of shoes for Mackenzie. She needed some new church shoes, and these are the ones that she picked out. And these were about $9, so not too bad. I also got a thing of mini marshmallows for a treat that I'm going to be making. Two packages of the Simply Good Strawberry, also for a recipe that I'm going to make. And these fun guys. Under here I have a football-shaped tray for my Super Bowl party. And some really fun napkins. I got some candy melts in the white color and these new things. These are white cheesecake flavored M&Ms. So yeah, definitely going into a Valentine's Day treat. And last but not least, I got several fun Valentine's Day things for my kids. I picked up three of these Valentine's Day mailbox kits for the kids to take to their co-op. We got one for Jackson, and one for Lily, and one for Mackenzie. These are about $5 each, but it comes with everything that you need and no glue, which I really like. So it shows them exactly how to make it, and then you can put your little Valentine right in there. So cute. I also picked up some really fun Valentine's Day pretzels. These will most likely go into lunches, and look at this, you guys. This is a candy bracelet set. So the kids can actually make it themselves and use these edible food color pens to write little messages and their name. I think this will be really fun for all the kids to do on Valentine's Day. Okay guys, that's everything we picked up today. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan on making anything for Super Bowl Sunday or for Valentine's Day or if you're going to go out. Let me know what you're going to make. Also let me know if you do any fun Valentine's Day activities with your kids because I'm always looking for more activities to do with my kids. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.